DNA testing is a huge industry with millions of people around the world joining Ancestry websites. So how does the science actually work? And can law enforcement use it to help solve cold cases? Jessica Borg takes us inside one of the country's most advanced labs right here in Houston. At Family Tree DNA's Houston lab, machines do most of the work. It's one of the most highly automated labs in the Houston area, if not the nation. Hi there, how you doing? CEO Bennett Greenspan says there are about 50 employees to help process thousands of DNA samples every day. The goal, to make family connections for customers just like himself. I'm starting now to get fourth cousins. I mean, that's really, really distant. The process begins right here, where DNA samples get sorted. Then this technology takes over. We can process up to 400 samples at one time per machine. Lab director Dr. Connie Borman says this second step is the most critical, extracting the DNA from the cheek swab or saliva sample and purifying it. We need to get pure, high quality DNA from the samples, otherwise none of the tests are gonna work. Once the DNA is purified, it gets placed on this tiny slide, which can actually hold samples from 24 different people. This is what we call a microarray, what we use to process and generate all of the data. That genetic data comes from testing hundreds of thousands of blocks or segments of someone's DNA, about 700,000 of them. It generates a unique profile. Unique for each individual, but the more similar those blocks of DNA are to someone else, the more likely it is you're closely related. It gives a target range. It could be a half sibling or an aunt, uncle, or a grandparent, grandchild. DNA information or profiles are then analyzed, and within a few days, the results are uploaded to a digital database. The more people that you have in the database, um, the more likely you'll be at finding a close match. While 2 million customers turn to Family Tree DNA to make a family connection, police turn to them for a different reason. It can help solve a crime. Recently, this company helped identify two women in the so-called Killing Fields murder cases from decades ago. One of the victims had a second cousin in the company's database, which is a solid lead in these forensic cases. Within a few hours or a few days, uh, a genealogist is able to build a genealogical tree. Once that family tree is built, police can narrow down their search and have a good idea who a victim or suspect may be. A lot of really horrific, horrendous cases are going to be solved. So what does the future look like for these kinds of tests? Dr. Borman says with DNA testing becoming less and less expensive, she sees a shift toward whole genome sequencing, which includes all genes, not just blocks of DNA. That test, she says, will answer more questions about health, heritage, and relatedness. Jessica Borg, KHOU 11 News.